is a calling. God calls you. You can't do it without Him, because our life is too hard. I mean, and there aren't too many people that would lock themselves up for life. Fifteen women have members of the Order of Four Clares of Perpetual Adoration, their monastery in the heart of Cleveland's east side. For us, it's beautiful. We just love it. We thrive on it. The sisters have been living here in Cleveland since 1921. Cut off from most of the outside world, they live lives of quiet prayer and devotion. Generations have come and gone, but the order remains. Their days are spent in prayer and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. Once simple bread, which Catholics believe, becomes the body of Christ. Their whole life is spent within these walls. No TV, no shopping or movies, few visitors. Only a contemplative life of devotion apart from others. They even take turns keeping vigil throughout the night, providing constant prayer for nearly 80 years now. We pray especially for children, the unborn, the elderly. A vocation was something I, I never really expected to have. An accomplished artist before she became a nun, Sister Mary Thomas lived in Chicago, New York, Mexico, and Rome. My real reason is just, you know, to express my love for the Lord. Her art is her offering. There has to be some creative means of praising Him and of loving Him. And for me, the painting is a means of praise. I mean, that's, that's why I do it. Our Father, who art in heaven, a new hallowed arrival, be thy Sister name. Mary Joseph thy grew up in Wycliffe. I didn't even realize I had a religious vocation at first. Before she became a nun a year ago, she was a registered nurse at Euclid General Hospital. One day, on her way home from work, she stopped in front of a church to offer a silent prayer to Christ. And here, you know, I just had such a strong thought. I, I love you so much, I wish I could marry you, you know, and I didn't know if I thought that or if the Lord was telling me that. Then finally, the light bulb lit up, the <laughs> bride of Christ, and then I knew. <laughs> They're a little sturdier than you would think. Now she helps the other sisters pack altar bread used for the Blessed Sacrament. Myself, it's like working with eggshells. I get a little nervous, but as I'm doing this longer, I feel more sure and confident. <laughs> Her family in Wycliffe is allowed to visit every other month. But like the others here, Sister Mary Joseph has found a new home and a lifetime of prayer. It's like living in a family, and there's such a variety of ages and uh, cultures. It's just a miracle we're all, uh, you know, all together like this. It's really a, a great. I had no idea I was going to be here one day. It's the happiest surprise of my life.
art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I see God in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Accept, O most merciful Jesus, this unworthy prayer, which we offer you 